at the John F. Kennedy School in Berlin, American and German young people study side by side. Classes are conducted in both languages and the curriculum is based on both the American and German school systems. The presidential election has been keenly followed here and in this affluent part of Berlin, all hopes are now on Barack Obama. During a history class the day after Obama's victory, these 12th graders discussed their expectations of the president-elect. Personally, I hope he changes and improves the image of Americans around the world. During the campaign, Barack Obama managed to create massive interest in politics, not just among older voters, but in particular among younger ones. I hope we'll see something similar during next year's general election here in Germany. As I see it, young people's expectations of Obama are very idealistic. But in the end, he'll be an American president who pursues American interests. Many are now wondering what kind of a president Barack Obama will be. One of the central themes of his speeches has been restoring the American dream. He's also promised to confront all the major issues. For even as we celebrate tonight, we know the challenges that tomorrow will bring are the greatest of our lifetime. Two wars, a planet in peril, the worst financial crisis in a century. His message of hope resonated with audiences at home and abroad. The euphoria of his supporters was dubbed Obamania, reaching its pinnacle in Berlin in July. Obama evoked memories of an era when Germans still held American foreign policy in high esteem. His victory has renewed hopes among German politicians that relations between the two countries will improve. On the basis of the deep friendship between Germany and the U.S., we will tackle the major issues facing us, including the crisis in the financial markets, free trade, and the fight against terrorism and climate change. America has voted for change in its domestic policy as well as its foreign policy. The wish list is long, and there's a widely held view that the big issues cannot be solved without the United States. Hopes are high that President Obama will be prepared to listen before acting. What progress, and all those watching tonight from beyond our shores, from parliaments and palaces, to those who are huddled around radios in the forgotten corners of the world, our stories are singular, but our destiny is shared. And a new dawn of American leadership is at hand. Dealing with the aftermath of the Iraq war will be a key test of his foreign policy. He's promised to withdraw American troops as soon as possible. And he'll press other governments to contribute to rebuilding Iraq. Obama's foreign policy is likely to mean more obligations for some. We shouldn't make the mistake of thinking that the transatlantic paradise will begin tomorrow, or that through some kind of miracle, the Americans will start seeing the world the same way we do. Germany's armed forces in Afghanistan could soon feel the pressure. Obama has already hinted that Berlin should deploy troops to the volatile south of Afghanistan. We have to get used to the fact that first and foremost Obama will be an American president and as such he will pursue American interests. The difference will be that he might be more willing to discuss things with others. Obama has promised far-reaching measures to support the American economy and in particular American jobs. That's been a major theme of his election campaign and cause for concern for German exporters. They hope he'll provide new impetus to efforts to resolve the financial crisis, but doubts remain over his wider economic policy. The issue of jobs was one of the major themes of Obama's election campaign. All the signs are that he favors protectionism rather than free trade. Obama was voted into power by millions of Americans because of his message of hope. And that hope has spread way beyond the borders of the United States. 
He's often been compared with another Democratic president, John F. Kennedy. And at the Berlin school that bears his name, the students have made no secret of who they see as JFK's rightful political heir. <laughs>